Hi, welcome back. This is Rakesh Nai. Today we are going to discuss about operations on DFA. If you have seen my previous videos where we have discussed about how to design DFAs, some difficult problems were there. And in order to understand those problems, the operations are very very important. So before we start, a small information I'd like to share. In this channel, we produce every video in two different languages, Hindi as well as in English. If you want to watch this video in Hindi, kindly follow the link given in the description. If you have not yet subscribed, please subscribe and press the bell icon so that you will get regular updates from this channel. So, let us start. Basically, the topic, the operations on deterministic finite automata or DFA will be little bit bigger if I will cover all of them in one video. That's why I have decided to make two videos for this and this is part one. Let us discuss about the first operation that is union. The union is same as the set operation. If two languages are given L1 and L2 and I want to find its language then I will write it in the form of L1 union L2. If any string belongs to L1 union L2, if the string belongs to either L1 or the string belongs to either L2. For example you can see here if L1 is a language which has even number of ones and L2 is another language which has odd number of ones. And if I am taking the union of them and I am taking a string from that particular union, then that particular string x will be having either even number of ones or odd number of ones. Let us try to do a problem based on this so that you will be able to understand it. Let us try to design a TFA over 0 and 1 such that the automata will accept string that starts and ends with different symbol. What is the meaning of different symbol? If the language is starting with 0, it's supposed to end with 1. And if the language is starting with 1, it's supposed to end with 0. It means what? There are two languages we are talking about. So L1 is a language which is starting with 0 and ending with 1. In between anything may come. And L2 is another language where the string is starting with 1 and ending with 0. In between anything may come. So what we are going to do? We'll find the DFA for language L1 and then for language L2 and perform union operation. So when I'm going to find the DFA for string L1, it means the string starting with 0 and ending with 1, then it will be something like this. The minimum string length for this particular language is 2, starting with Q0. The first symbol 0 appeared, gone to state Q1. Then second symbol 1 appeared and this is the final state. And then you know how to define other input symbols at different states. So this is the required DFA that we are having. How to do this? I hope you understood by now. And if you have not yet understood, kindly go back and watch my previous videos. How to design DFA, you will be able to understand it. Now let us try to design our second DFA for language L2. It means starting with 1 and ending with 0. And for this particular language also, the minimum string length is 2. So starting input symbol is 1. Ending input symbol is 0. So with the minimum string length 1 and 0, we reached the final state. And the other state how to define? I hope you understood it. Now the next part. The main thing is how to perform union. To perform union, we have to follow these two steps. If L1 and L2 are two DFAs, then to find L1 union L2, we have to merge the starting states of both the DFAs. And the final state of L1 union L2 is nothing but the final states of L1 as well as the final state of L2. So something like this, if the starting states are merged, in this direction we are having language L1 and we are having the final state Q2 and in this direction I am accepting language 2 and whose final state is Q3. 
So this is how we are going to do the union operation. Now come back to our problem. This part already we have seen that it is starting with 0 and ending with 1. And this part of the DFA where it satisfies starting with 1 and ending with 0. And when I combine their starting state, Q2 and Q4 are my final states of the DFA. This DFA will start and end with different symbol. I hope you understood by now how to perform union operation to get such kind of a problem. If you understood it, try this problem. Design a DFA that accepts strings that has even number of ones or odd number of zeros. So even number of ones mean you will be having zero ones, two ones, four ones like that. And there is no constant whether the ones supposed to come together or not. This kind of problem already we have discussed in our earlier videos. I hope you will get the DFA of this particular language. An odd number of ones, at least one zero will there, then zero, one, one zero, and like that, you will be having odd number of zeros. This kind of problem also we have discussed. Now take the DFA of both the problem and merge their starting state. And whatever you are getting is the final state. If you are having any problem, do comment me. I am definitely going to help you out. So let us try to understand about one more operation that is called concatenation. So concatenation is nothing but putting the languages adjacent to one another. We use small o or italic o to indicate concatenation. So if L1 and L2 are two languages, and then if we want to do concatenation of these two languages, let us say L is the resulting one. Then we will say in the form of X, Y. X is a string from L1 and Y is a string from L2. It means I have to write string from L1 first, then I have to write string from L2. For example, let us say if L1 is the language with starting with 0 and L2 is the language which is ending with 1 then L1 concatenation with L2 will be the language which will get the string those who are starting with 0 and after that we will get the string which is ending with 1. For better understanding let us try to do a problem. So here let us try to see what are the strings that start with 0. So these are the strings that is starting with 0 and these are the strings which are ending with 1. Now let us try to find the DFA one by one. For language L1 that is starting with 0, this is my DFA. Here I can have one more loop because after coming to a dead state, I can have any number of input, it will still be in dead state. How to get this? Possibly you know it. Let us try to define the DFA for the other language L2 that is ending with 1. For this language, this is the DFA that we need. Now what to do? We have to do concatenation on DFA. Now the step that we are going to perform is make the final state of language L1 as the initial state of L2 and make L2's final state as final state of L1 concatenation with L2. If we are having language L1 where Q1 is the final state of language L1, this becomes the initial state of language L2. Q2 is the final state of language L2. So Q2 become the final state of whole of it. So at last this double circle in the middle will not be there. This will be again the initial state for language 2. So we have already seen that this is the DFA that accept all the language which starts with 0. And this is the DFA which accept all the string ending with 1. Now for this particular DFA, this is the final state. This state is supposed to be the initial state for this particular language. So if you we'll merge these two, it will look like this. So Q1 become the initial state for the second language. And Q2, the final state of language 2, become the final state of whole concatenation operation. I hope you understood now. If you understood, try this particular problem. Find a DFA that accepts 
even number of ones and odd number of zeros. It means after even number of ones, you will be having odd number of zeros. So these are the strings that are having even number of ones. Find the DFA for this. And these are the language having these strings having odd number of zeros. Find the DFA for this and write one after another. The final state of L1 becomes the initial state of L2. If you write it in this way, the work will be over. Let us see one more operation that is complementation. The complementation in DFA is same as complementation in set theory. It means if the DFA accepts language L1, then the complement of L1, that is L1 desk, is the language that DFA doesn't accept. Okay? So if L1 is the language starting with 0, L1 desk is the language which never accepts starting with 0. So let us see the problem based on this. If L1 is the language which is having 0 at the first symbol. So L1 desk will be having epsilon. L1 desk 0 as the starting symbol should never appear. Let us see the DFA. The DFA that is having 0 as the starting symbol is this. Here we can have one more loop in the dead state. Because in the dead state, as many zeros and as many ones, it will still remain in the dead state. This is the DFA that we got that accept all the string with starting with zero. Now let us try to find the complementation of this. And in order to find the complementation, these two steps we have to do. Make the non-final state as final state and make the final state as non-final state. With these two steps, the given DFA will be complemented. It means what? If Q sigma delta Q naught F is the DFA that is accepting language L, then L complement will be having Q sigma delta Q naught and in the final state Q minus F. Let us see how. For our problem, this is the DFA that we got. It means this DFA accept a starting symbol as zero. Now if we want to have one more DFA that should not start with 0, it means I want to take the complement, then what I have to do? The final state here is not a final state here and the non-final state here becomes final state here. Now this is a DFA which will never ever accept 0 in this language. So this is how we are going to get complement of a particular DFA. I hope you understood it and if you understood, try this problem. Try to design a DFA where every zero should never followed by 1 1. It means in the string 0 1 1, it should never appear. So what you are going to do? You find the language which will accept 0 1 1 as a substring and then convert it into complement. It means final state becomes non-final state and non-final state becomes final state. I hope that you will be able to do it. One more operation we will discuss that is reverse. Reverse means the reversal of the language or the reversal of the string generated by the language. If let us say L is the language over 0 and 1 that is starting with 1. It means these are the possible strings we are having. And on its reverse, I will get the reversal of the string. It is not reversal of the DFA. But on the reversal of the string, 1 reverses 1 itself. 1 0 reverses 0 1. 1 1 reverses 1 1. It means it is the reversal of the string, not the DFA. Let us try to design the DFA for this particular problem. So if L is the language that is starting with 1, then L R I will write is the reversal of the that is generated by this particular language. Now let us design the DFA. The DFA for the language starting with 1 will look like this. Now if I want to do the reversal, these three steps I have to do. Make all the edges in the transition diagram in the reverse direction. I will reverse all the edges. Make the starting state at final state. Make non-final state as final state. And make final state as initial state. Let us try to understand here. So for DFA that is starting with 1 is this one. And if I want to reverse the string on this, what I have to do? The final state I will make is initial state. 
an initial state as final state and all the non final state becomes final state here now whatever string i'll generate by this will reverse of the string that is generated by this i hope you understood this also if you understood try this problem also that a string is having even number of a's now try to find a dfa which will reverse this particular language so in this video we have covered these many operations in our next video we are going to discuss about cross product and under cross product there are many other operations that we perform if you have any problem doing these problems do comment me i will definitely reply so see you in our next video till then take care bye